is up guys my name is AOC Adina and welcome to another video in this video I'm going to battle against a guy who is using a very unconfessional team it's basically a team that consists of many Pokemon that are not used a lot and that actually kind of threw me off uh, I guess uh, I I kind of had the feeling that it was a new guy when I saw him in uh, team preview and he was just trying out PvP or something and that's why I didn't take didn't take the battle seriously at the start and it actually really cost me a lot because <laughs> this guy really whooped my ass so definitely a lesson for you guys obviously it was not a team with something like Pidgey, Scyther like it was a team with fully evolved Pokemon but they were just not used a lot and that's why kind of threw me off um, but yeah, without further ado guys, let's jump right into the battle. I hope you will enjoy this one. Yo, what's up guys? AFC Udino here. And I'm playing against a guy with a very interesting team. Let's just lead up with Tangrove. As Tangrove does have a pretty good matchup against his team. I'm just gonna knock off. Don't know if I, if this guy is a new player or anything. We'll find out. As leftovers, he does go for knockoff. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for Giga Drain here. As he goes into Venusaur, so I guess he does know what he's doing. Um, you now what? I'll just I'll just knock off and then this thing will be easier to kill later on, I guess. As he goes for Slurge Bomb, <laughs> he knocks me out. I should have expected. <laughs> I should have expected that. Venusaur has a pretty good special attack. Okay, so this guy clearly knows what he's doing. Uh, I have to take this a bit seriously. Um, let's. I go scissor and I'm gonna U-turn here. I don't um I'm just gonna go into T-Tar and scout for the hidden power fire. Let's see. He goes for sleep powder. Okay, it's usually the choice between H HP fire or sleep powder, so I don't think he has HP fire. So I'm just gonna go back into my scissor and I'm gonna use my Tyranitar as a sleep fodder for the remainder of the game. Um, he actually makes a double switch into his Medicham. It's kind of unfortunate that I lost my Tangrove, because Tangrove was usually my switch for this, but... I have another answer, which is my Starmie. The bulky spinner set. And he goes for Fake Out. And it's Life Orb. So he takes Life Orb and Sandstorm Chip. I will go for Recover here, though, because I need my Starmie at Full HP. I really need my Starmie at Full HP. He actually decides to go uh, into his Mantine, but little does he know, I ha actually have something for this, which is a little surprise called Toxic, and this way my Starmie can easily 1v1 this Mantine, because Mantine cannot really touch my Starmie, but, but the poison in the meantime does completely shut him down. Anyway, I am going to go into my T-Tar, because I I want the Sandstorm up actually because it does nice chip on his Venusaur, it does chip on his Taurus and Medicham, so I really want this up. And the Sandstorm also reduces the healing uh, Venusaur gets from using Synthesis. He makes a double switch into his Mantine, or he makes a switch into his uh, Magnezone. And I don't really have a good answer for this, so I'm just gonna go into Raikou. Raikou resists all of his stab moves. And that's Flash Cannon. Wow, okay, that did a lot, so he might actually be, um, he might be Specs. Um, uh, I guess I'll just Volt Switch here if he goes into his, uh, Venusaur. As he actually makes the Dome Fan play, so that's really interesting. Oh, <laughs> I should have really taken this seriously from the start, but... I am gonna click Hidden Power Ice if I lose my Raikou whatever. Goes for knockoff, however, he didn't click Earthquake, so I will live. Take Sandstorm damage, but after this turn, uh, Sandstorm will be gone, however. He's most likely gonna click Ice Shard. So I'm gonna go into my Starmie. And I wanna keep my Raikou alive, actually. I think my Raikou is the most guaranteed way of getting rid of the Mantine. Yeah, I'm clicking Scald here. Even if Mantine comes in, it's fine. Mantine cannot do anything back in return. <coughs> I'm just gonna click Rapid Spin here, get some extra chip, I guess, and and tank the potential Toxic or another Scald. As he goes for Scald here, he doesn't burn me, 
And I can definitely see him switch here. So I'm going to click Scald here. Because otherwise the poison is just going to do too much damage to him. If he keeps staying in. Oh, he does switch out into Magnus. I would love to burn this thing. Come on. Come on. Okay, I do not burn him. I do get some nice chip off. And I guess I just go Garchomp. Even if he clicks Flash Cannon, I should lift Choice Specs. Flash Cannon. Wait, what? He knocks me out. So this means he's analytic Choice Specs. Oh my god. Pulling crap like this. I am going to go to Raikun. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for the, for the Hidden Power Eyes. Predicting that Don Fan to come in. But he does go into Don Fan. And we knock out Don Fan. And now my Raikou can kind of fold switch around. Because I didn't want to sack my Raikou on the Magnezon yet. Because Raikou is really my guaranteed way of getting rid of the Mantine. And I I might be able to get him in later on. With the U-turn from Scizor. But I have to switch out here. Because I don't want to eat a fake out with Raikou. I'm going to go back into my Starmie. Like Starmie does take every of his attacks. And he takes Life Orb Chip again. And like I was, I will recover here. Keeping my uh, Starmie full HP. As he actually clicks Poison Jab. That's interesting. He, luckily he doesn't get the poison. So I'm just going to recover again. As he goes into his Mantine. And again... Mantine cannot really touch my Starmie, so I'm just gonna keep rapid spinning. Till, till I'm gonna rapid spin till he uh, recovers. He clicks Scald here. He does get the burn. Hmm. I, I don't think he wants to stay in. I'm gonna go into Titar here. I know the Sandstorm will kill my Raikou, but I don't plan to bring in Raikou just yet. He does bring in his Venusaur now. But yeah, because Tyranitar is asleep, I can just go into Scizor. That way he cannot put Scizor asleep. And I really think he doesn't have each Hidden Power Fire. Lead Sheet. So Sludge Bomb, Lead Sheet is his moveset. So... Leech it might be his only recovery move. And maybe he has Giga Drain. So I don't think he has Synthesis then. Usually the choice Synthesis or Leech Sheet. But he makes the switch into Magnezon. So I get some nice chip off again. And... if I cannot go Raikou because he dies to Sandstorm. So I have to go Starmie. And Scald is not going to be enough to kill this. I have to switch into the T-Tar. I don't think he's gonna press Flash Cannon predicting my T-Tar. He's most likely gonna Volt Switch or T-Bolt. T-Bolt could be good since he's Specs and is locked in. Perhaps I can hit him with uh, Pursuit. But no, he goes for Volt Switch. And he brings in a Medicham again. So Medicham taking Sandstorm chip damage. And again, I have my Starmie uh, pretty healthy. So he, he will definitely come in here. And let's see what he does. He clicks Drain Punch. And he gets a crit. Uh, that crit is annoying because now he got a lot of recovery back. Just as long as I have Starmie, uh, his Medicham cannot beat me. So he brings in the Mantine again. But I get the recover off. And I will basically just uh, keep rubber spinning in. <laughs> Till the poison wrecks up. He clicks Scald. He doesn't get the burn. And I'm gonna rapid spin again. Because this poison is really hurting him. As he clicks Roost. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Because that would make his Roost useless. He's gonna switch out now. So I'm gonna press Scald. As he goes into Venusaur. This is the moment. Burn. Burn. You're gonna burn. Burn in hell please. We got to burn. This is exactly what I needed. 
Guys, it would it was really it is really difficult for me to kill this Venusaur, but th that burn really helps. I am gonna go into my scissor now. I'm gonna go into my scissor now, and he cannot touch me. He goes for Giga Drain, completely fine. And I guess I'll just uh, just U-turn. I I could switch this, but he still has his Mantine alive, so I'm gonna U-turn. I cannot sweep with scissor yet because of his Mantine. I really need to remove the Mantine, so I'm gonna U-turn as he brings a Mantine. And this is what I said, guys. This is why I kept Raikou alive. Like I can still bring it in on a switch uh, through a U-turn. Like he switched and that gave me a free U-turn into Raikou and now I'm clicking T-Bolt and something is gonna die. He lost his Donphan. If he goes Phoenisaur, Phoenisaur will die to Hidden Power Ice. So he decides to sack Mantine and now I can set up an SD with my Scissor against the Phoenisaur. So that really works out for me. I am faster than Magnezone. If he goes Tauros, uh, I am gonna stay in because I don't. I cannot take another deck from this thing and if he's faster then I'm, then I know he's scarfed but I'm faster I get a lot of chip off and he goes for earthquake at least he's not scarfed so my star me can kill this whenever it comes in and that's what I'm gonna do as well I'm just gonna gonna press scald okay Phoenisar comes back in but I can always switch in my uh I can always switch in my uh, scissor because he doesn't have he doesn't have hidden power fire yeah Phoenisaur is actually a pretty good Pokemon like boys he's a poison type also a regress type that's a pretty good combination he goes for lead seed um I'm just gonna U-turn, I guess. U-turn and I'll go into T-Tar. As he goes for Giga Drain again. And he gets a crit. <laughs> the crits in this game, man. And I'll go back into Scissor. Okay. Kick a drain. Um, I am gonna sword stance here on this potential lead sheet. Okay, because yeah, I'm gonna sword stance here. As he click Giga Drain, why did he click? Wait, oh, I guess he was predicting me to U turn into back into T Tar, and that's why he went for Giga Drain. Well, this gives me a free roost though. And I should be able to live a Specs T-Bolt from this amount of health. Because for T-Bolt, 86, I live, but I, oh no, he gets to paralyze. He gets to paralyze off. At least I knock out the Magnezone, but this is actually really bad. This could be really bad. Because now I'm slower than the Phoenisaur with Scissor, and I cannot roost on him. Which means <laughs> everything has to fall in place right here. So he goes Phoenisaur. I have to go T. I have to go Tar. I cannot go there because he's most likely gonna. He's most likely gonna uh, lead sheet here. Most likely gonna lead sheet here, and I cannot risk uh, my Starmie on a on a Giga Drain because I need my Starmie to win. After, okay. I I am not waking up by the way here. So I have to go Scissor and hope and pray that he goes for Giga Drain. Come on. Because I four times resist the Giga Drain. Okay. He went for Giga Drain. I am at 4 HP. As long as I don't get paralyzed, I can win here. Because I click Bullet Punch. I won't kill him, most likely. But I will put him in Scald range after Sandstorm and Burn. So he does go for Giga Drain. And yeah, after Scald, um, Burn damage and sandstorm damage he should be dying to my starmie and now my starmie can kind of clean up because his Taurus dies to one scald and his medicham cannot 1v1 me so this should be the game <laughs> this, it would have been much easier if i didn't throw my tank rope away like that <laughs> 
But that's just what happens, guys. Sometimes when you play against these teams, it just kind of throws you off. Because it sometimes happens, like, you, you face a complete beginner, and he brings his walkthrough team. Shit like that. But this guy was legit. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Scald here. And, yeah, as long as he doesn't have Thunder Punch, I win. I also get the burn, but that, that's fine, because I think it would have been a 2-hit KO regardless, because he has the Life Orb. But yeah, I'm gonna Scald here. And we knock out the Medichamp, so that's nice. And all that's left is his Tauros, but my Starmie should outspeed the Tauros. And he is definitely in range of Scald. And that should be the game, guys. So, a good game, that's all there. <laughs> Sorry for underestimating you. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this battle though. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below. Let me know that I should... Remind me, guys. Remind me that I should never underestimate my opponent. And for the people out there, ch check out my Discord channel if you would like to see me stream this game. But that's basically it, so peace out and I'll see you guys in the next video.